Kadosh Ecclesia. Join us for worship and experience God's love in community. As founders, September 9th marks the official day the Lord launched them into the beautiful city of Warren, Michigan, the third largest city in Metro Detroit. Hi, I'm Pastor Lance Anderson. And I'm Lady Danette Anderson. And we invite you to experience Kadosh Ecclesia and how we got started. Rooted in apologetics and eschatology, Pastor Lance is a young man with a vision. With his wife, Danette, by his side, he knows that God has ordered his steps in ministry. Kadosh is a thriving, growing ministry of sound doctrine. Well, how did Kadosh Ecclesia begin? My wife and I originally were led by the Spirit of God, just like Abraham was, to go to another part of the vineyard. And in much prayer and consecration, where is this path going to take us? Where will our destination be? And ultimately, God gave that this will be a pastoral ministry from just not only just delivering the Word of God to now overseeing a flock. And what He had given, and I was asking God, I said, Lord, what should the name be to represent this ministry? I know that you want this ministry to be apologetically strong, contending for the faith dealing with orthodoxy, orthopraxy, and orthopathy in regards to sound doctrine, having right practice and the right affection for you. And he came and delivered unto us from both Hebraic and Greek studies, Kadosh Ecclesia. Kadosh Ecclesia, Kadosh is Hebrew, meaning holy. And in regards to Ecclesia means holy called out ones, holy assembly. And anytime that God mentions something twice in scripture is of great significance and importance. And so in reaching the lost and teaching all nations, he gave us Kadosh Ecclesia. When my husband told me that the Lord was calling him to another part of the vineyard and to start a ministry, I remember thinking, I cannot leave where I've been all this time. I remember thinking like, God, is this you? And so the Lord had me go into prayer. I immediately went into my secret closet and I said, God, if this is you, you've got to convince me. And so I just went into my secret closet and I literally laid on my face and I said, God, you have to help me. This is hard to leave where I've been all these years where I grew up. And so I just began to pray and the Holy Ghost spoke audibly to me in prayer. And he told me, this is of me. What your husband has told you is of me. Trust what I'm saying through your husband. He's a man of God and to trust him. And after I heard the Lord tell me that, I went to my husband and said, where you go, I'll go. It was almost like an Abraham and Sarah moment because they didn't know where they were going, but they were following the leading of the Lord. And I followed my husband and I've been following him. And the Lord convinced me that if you follow your husband, if you be the supportive wife that I know you can be, I'm going to make it well with you. And so all these many years later, just being obedient to the voice of the Lord and going into prayer and the Lord convincing me that this was not my husband just trying to, you know, be somebody. It was really the Lord putting a burden on his heart and him coming to me as his wife. And I trusted the Lord. And when he let me know my husband was was following his lead and that he would reveal it to me. And he's revealed it to me. All those years later, he's revealed it to me that it was the Lord leading him to birth out this ministry. And I'm so glad, I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful that I was listening to the Lord. I'm so grateful that I followed my husband. And of course, I've been following him ever since. And the Lord has just blessed us and he's blessed my obedience. And my husband is a great man and I appreciate him coming to me and telling me what the Lord is giving him because it let me know that when you're truly sincere about doing the Lord's work, 
He will make everything all right. He will make, he will smooth out those crooked obstacles that come in your way. We've had some ob- obstacles and some challenges along the way, but thanks be unto God. He has guided us, he's girded us up, he's solidified us. And so I'm so wa- glad and I'm so grateful six years later to be in this place. And um, I just can't wait to see what the Lord is gonna do for us at Kadosh Ecclesia. God has given Pastor Lance an amazing plan and vision to develop the two and a half additional acres of land attached to the church property. We are excited to watch the vision unfold. We have a vision to train up our children for the church of today and tomorrow by offering a place where they too can be nurtured in our nursery, sunshine band, or purity class. Your family is welcome here. Stimulating Sunday services begin at 12.30 p.m. and our weekly Bible study, Truth Tuesday, at 7.30 p.m. We welcome you to join us. Aaron, look what mine, he said, sanctify me. He didn't say for me to sanctify you, but he said, sanctify me before the people. Remove the resurrection of Jesus Christ from Christianity. You don't have Christianity. You literally take the heart of it. And we accept that the resurrection happened by faith. faith. Thank you for joining us and just seeing a glimpse of what we have to offer. Here at Kadosh Ecclesia. And we can't wait to see you. And. and we pray you experience the power of God's anointing in our services.